For more than a year, stonemasons Ray Canetti, Kevin Nieto, and Robert Hall split boulders and dressed the resulting stones into blocks to be used in the Washington House interpretive replica being built at George Washington's Ferry Farm. Ray and his crew split huge Aquia sandstone boulders into ever smaller pieces until finally they reached a size where the rock could be dressed into blocks to fit around a special concrete cradle serving as the replica's foundation. In this video, we're going to see how these stones were made. Ray Canetti brings decades of experience to his work here at Ferry Farm. We begin this video by asking him how long he's been working with stone. I started my apprenticeship when I was 29 years old in a stone factory, mm -hmm. dressing stone. I've, I've been doing it pretty long. And I served my apprenticeship at the Cathedral Stone Company in Washington. Then we asked Ray to explain the process he uses to split the stones. Although we're using modern drills to drill the holes, we're really using a traditional technique for splitting the blocks. The, the little metal wedges and shims that you see are called plugs and feathers. And um, it, as you can tell, it's very effective. We can take these large blocks and really split them rather accurately. The stones were split repeatedly until they were of a size appropriate to begin dressing them for the foundation. Here's Ray to explain and demonstrate that dressing process. Yeah. What I'm trying to do is get the face of it in a plane. So what I'll do is I'll take a straight edge and I'll sight it and line up the both ends of the line so my edge, the edge of my stone now, will be right along that, that pencil line. So when we set them in the wall, there won't be any lips on any of the mortar joints. None of the mortar joints will be hung over. And then we'll also be able to keep our mortar joints relatively compact. Creating the foundation for the Washington House replica has been a unique blend of modern and historic processes. Here's Ray to explain just how unique this project is. This is so unique in nature. Mm -hmm. There are no comparisons. Because, I mean, today everything is uh, processed in large mills. The thing that they can't do is imitate the traditional process. In regards to being unique, I mean, <laughs> this is a uh, about as close to a unicorn as you can get. Okay, one, one dress stone. In our next Building George's House video, we're going to see how the stonemasons laid the stones into the concrete cradle. Thanks for watching.